hello and welcome to this short video in which we show how we can archive digitally and audit compliant in SAP Business One. First of all, we'll take a look at examples for early and late archiving and how documents can be assigned to the corresponding SAP documents. We also want to show how we can use the archive to make digital documents available to other employees for further processing and how it can help us in the approval procedure. After installing CKS DMS, we can see the archive in the menu bar of SAP Business One. We therefore don't need to switch back and forth between software applications and we can archive and retrieve everything from within the familiar SAP Business One environment. Under the menu we can see two inboxes. A global inbox, which all employees can access, and a personal inbox, which is assigned to our personal employee login. The functions of each inbox are identical, the only difference is who can access them. Firstly, let's take a look at the archiving of incoming documents. Different paths exist here depending on the workflow. In our first example, we are receiving an invoice for which there has not yet been any previous transaction in SAP. We import the document into our inbox either with a document scanner, by selecting a file, or via the Outlook add-in. We then open the document, ideally move it to a second screen, specify down here what sort of document it is, to which business partner it belongs, and then create the corresponding SAP document. On our second screen, we can see the document and can transfer the values to the SAP document in the usual way. After posting, the digital document is archived automatically in the background and can be accessed with a right-click. Next, we'll take a look at archiving a document when we already have a base document such as a purchase order or a goods receipt. Once again, we open the document in our inbox and we move it to our second screen. Then search for the corresponding base document, copy it to the matching document type and then we can use the magnifying glass to create the link with a digital document. The last document that was opened is used automatically. In our example, this is the invoice that is still open in the second screen. As usual, we reconcile the data in our SAP document with the received digital document and then we post it. Again, our digital document is archived directly behind the SAP document and can be accessed with a right-click. We will now take a look at an example of late archiving. We usually encounter this scenario when working with documents in paper form, such as delivery notes. First of all, we create the SAP document in the usual way and then we enter the data from the delivery note. After posting, a QR code label is printed, which we simply stick to the first sheet of the original document. If all delivery notes have been received, we can scan the whole batch and add it to the archive in one go. The QR code ensures that the documents are assigned and archived behind the corresponding SAP documents. Once again, we can access the archive via the SAP document with a right-click.
we can also print a QR code automatically onto our outgoing documents. If we receive them back as signed documents, for example, they are then assigned to the SAP documents straight away when they are imported into our archive. If manual entry of external documents is too time consuming, you can automate the process with the CKS ADC enhancement. After importing the documents, we will then get an SAP document which has already been filled out. We now come to a function of the digital archive that is becoming increasingly important, which is the accessibility of digitalized documents throughout the entire company. With our digital archive, we can digitalize and archive incoming office documents such as delivery notes or invoices and then we can assign them to the personal inboxes of the relevant employees for further processing. They are then able to access the documents they need, regardless of whether they are in the office next door or sitting in their remote office. We can even make documents available for the SAP approval procedure. We receive an invoice, but this has to be approved by an authorized employee before it can be posted. We create the SAP document as usual and the digital document is archived behind it immediately. When it is posted, the transaction is passed to the employee who is specified in the SAP approval procedure. This person can then view, check and approve the document. Version control is a very important aspect of digital archiving. The moment we change an archive document, a new version is created automatically in the background. Every change can be seen in a list and any version of the document can be reproduced all the way back to the original. Now we have seen some of the features of the archive, we will now look at how we can find documents. We have already seen how we can right-click on an SAP document. In the same way, we can call up documents that have been archived behind business partners. We can also use the full text search. We simply enter a search term such as the document number of the delivery note. We can refine the search with operators. We can use AND if the document needs to contain all search terms and we can use OR if just one of the search terms need to be identified. In our example, we are looking for all delivery notes from the 2nd of January 2018. And that brings us to the end of our short introduction to the basic functions of CKS DMS. We have seen how we can archive documents in an audit-proof way from directly within SAP Business One, how to link SAP documents and how to make them available throughout the entire company. There are of course many other useful functions and applications that we'd be delighted to show you. For further information, please speak to your SAP partner or get in touch with us directly.